What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the best high definition and high quality render and capture settings using Pinnacle Studios and Sony Vegas. So uh, to start things off, I'll go ahead and uh, open up your uh, Pinnacle Studios and uh, go to setup and go to capture source and uh, make sure your uh, Dazzle's connected or whatever capture device you're using and uh, by uh, by default it should be on NTSC leave it on NTSC if you live in the states or North America whatever and if you're from the UK go to PAL aspect ratio by default should be on 4 by 3 switch it over to 16 by 9 and your capture preview uncheck it or it's going to make your quality really laggy and uh, 10 seconds for that and check no auto scene detection and go to capture format presets is uh, mpeg one and a half avi that's going to take up way too much space and um, personally I think mpeg has better quality than avi I might be wrong, but you know, like I said, I trust MPEG a lot more. But um, for your custom settings, hit custom and MPEG type MPEG2, resolution 720 by 480, data rate by default it should be on 6000, I believe. Um, please don't bump it all the way, just put it at 8000. I know a lot of you guys are going to be tempted. But um, just trust me when I tell you that it's going to make your quality look worse than it would be if it was on 8000. Just um, leave it there. And compression, MPEG layer 2, sample rate 48 kilohertz. Um, all these are default settings. Just leave them be and uh, check use this format for new projects and select NTSC progressive widescreen or like I said before um, if you're in the UK go to the PAL settings <clears throat> and uh, the rest just leave it alone hit OK and I'm gonna give you guys a second to copy these settings here the actual video settings if you have to just uh, pause the video or come back to it later but um if you have a s video cord i recommend you using that it's definitely a lot better than composite you know as you can see i have composite so the quality it's gonna be great overall but s video can definitely resemble hd pvr quality hands down so that is a lot better than composite but composite still good overall if you're using it so don't worry about quality not being as good but like I said this video definitely a lot better so now <sighs> open up your uh, your Vegas and go to properties under file and I already have uh, custom settings here. Just uh, copy these. The dimensions are 1440 by 1080. And field order, progressive scan, um, pixel aspect ratio, HDV 1080, output rotation, original, frame rate. No idea why it's on that. Go to 29 NTSC, once again, UK. Pal. So, um, pixel format, 32 bit floating point video levels, full resolution rendering quality. Obviously, you want it to be at its best, so go to that. Motion blur, Gaussian, DNLA method, blend fields, and start all new projects with your settings. Hit apply and then OK. As you can see, the quality got a lot better. But we're not done yet we're gonna keep making it even better so um if i went too fast there the pan and crop option 
is this little square looking thing if you have any uh, watermarks from your capture card or any bars that you want to get rid of use the pen and crop um, tool <clears throat> and uh, make sure these two are selected if you want to uh, you know mess with it go ahead and zoom in as much as you want to or need to but some of you guys should be happy with the default 16 by 9 widescreen TV uh, setting there. I have my own HD, which really isn't much different from the 16 by 9. It just zooms in a bit more. But anyways, enough of that. And um, after that, go to the uh, event effects option, the cross-looking thing at the end of the video. And uh, go to Sony Sharpen. Hit add. <clears throat> And uh, where is it? Uh, Sony color corrector. Hit add, then OK, and your sharpen. Go to 300. I already have it set, so 300 for the amount. And uh, as you can see, the quality is still a little bright, and we're gonna give it that HD darkened look to it so go to the default setting of uh, or the preset of uh, studio RGB to computer RGB and it gets a bit darker and gives it that HD look to it so just uh, check that and uh, now we're gonna go to the actual render settings and name your file and use the latest uh, Windows Media Video version you have. For me, I have V11. The latest one you have should do. And then go to Template and Custom. <coughs> Your mode CBR. Format Windows Media Audio 9.2. Attributes 96 kilobytes per second. Now, make sure it's on this setting you know 96 48 kilohertz and so and so because if it's not your uh, your audio might sound distorted or just uh, messed up echoey whatever but uh, video mode CBR format Windows Media Video 9 image size it's custom for the high for the high quality settings you want 960 by 540 and pixel aspect ratio on square and for your HD settings you want high de high definition 1440 by 1080 and change the pixel aspect ratio to HD 1080 frame rate 30 seconds per keyframe 3 and uh, 3 on the override default compression buffer video smoothness all the way max to 100 and bitrate 6 megabytes index summary you don't need that video render quality make sure it's on best and then name your uh, your settings hit the save button and then hit ok but I already have it saved so I'm exiting and then once again name your file if you haven't already and then just hit save and it's going to start rendering for you and that's about it. I hope you enjoy your quality and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, look forward to more tutorials in the future. Later.